Hi, I'm Mark Ryan, City Manager for the City of Titusville. We're here today at the AMAX Brewery Causeway Bridge construction site. Joining me today is Steve Olson, the Public Information Officer for the Florida Department of Transportation. Steve, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Can you tell us a little bit about this project and what it's going to mean for our community? Oh, it's going to be great for the City of Titusville. A lot of people uh, use this bridge to get to the Merritt Island Wildlife Refuge. Uh, folks use it to get to the Kennedy Space Center. And basically this bridge was needed because uh, the, the AMAX Brewer Bridge that is here now and is being replaced uh, is nearing the end of its, its lifespan. Uh, how long will it take for the project to go from beginning to end? Well, the planning on something like this takes a long time, but the actual construction, about two years. So they got rolling in uh, May of 2009, and they're looking to wrap it up probably in the summer of 2011. So it's a couple year project to build a bridge, but it's a major undertaking. It is a fantastic project, and the amount of construction going on in the downtown is phenomenal. Uh, how much concrete and steel that we can expect to see to go into a project this size? Well, if we look at just the poured concrete, you know, on the deck and such, we're looking at about 15,000 cubic yards of concrete that's been poured here. That's a lot of concrete. And about 3 million pounds, 3 million pounds nearly, of reinforced steel. So, I mean, you know, to support a bridge like this, you need a lot of that product. That's excluding all the piling and everything else that went in, but it's just a lot of product that went into this and a lot of planning. Well, that's a great amount of steel that we're trying to deal with here. I bet it took a lot of people to build this, this project. Well, you know, the, it usually varies on a, on a construction corridor, but it looks like we're going to have about uh, somewhere between 60 to 75 people who've been working here continuously. And that helps the local economy. You know, you have people delivering product here. Uh, you know, they stop at some of the restaurants and, and such, and then the people who work here, you know, they, they spend their money on the local economy. And, and uh, so as construction goes on, it, it, it's getting a little jump start to the economy as well, Titus Bell. Well, again, that, that's really great because we're seeing the, the construction is coming to an end in the summer of 2011. Uh, there's some amenities that are going on as well with the actual vehicle construction for the bridge. Uh, I think we have a catwalk being constructed. Right. There's going to be a, a, a place where people can come and fish. And that's pretty important because with the old bridge, there, you know, this is a really good fishing and shrimping area. So that's going to be pretty important to have that fishing facility here. There's also going to be facilities for people to bike across the bridge and to walk across the bridge. Um, you know, things have changed in the old days when you build a bridge and it was just based on cars. You're looking at livable communities now. And so it's not just, you know, getting vehicles across. But it's also getting pedestrians and bicyclists uh, across. Because let's face it, we've got the wildlife refuge across the way here. And that's pretty important to a lot of folks to get there, not, not just drive there, but maybe to walk or to bike there. So it's going to end and, and the fishing facilities as well. So there's going to be a lot of stuff here for everybody, the, the, the traveling public and, and people who need this for recreation or want to use this for recreation as well. Well, that's really great because we got a lot of maritime uh, consumers here in Titusville, and we also have the, the mobility issues of intermobility with vehicles and boats and, and cars and uh, bicycles so it's really great to see type of intermodal activity here right and and you want you want something like this to fit in with the community and and so uh, you know that's important to make make this a part of the community and to make it functional with what you want to do in the downtown area and then uh, what people want to do is for recreation and uh, commuting in this area well very good well thank you for joining me today and up next is Scott Brown with Brevard County Road and Bridge Joining me today is Scott Brown, Brevard County Road and Bridge Department. Scott, welcome. Welcome. Thank you very much for having me here today. Scott, can you tell us a little bit about the AMAX Brewer Bridge and a little bit of the history of what's going on here? I believe I can. The AMAX Brewer Bridge, better known as Albert, which is A, Max Brewer, was a longtime resident of the city of Titusville. In the 50s, he was an attorney in the area and soon became a Florida State Representative after that. In 1961, the governor appointed him to the state road board for, the, for Florida, and he was an intricate part in developing and putting together what we know now as the Florida State Road Infrastructure. And the bridge, which is what he is named after, uh, was one of two bridges that crossed over the Indian River. 
in 1922, the original bridge was made of wood and it only crossed to the other side and allowed passengers by horse and pedestrians to get across the intercoastal waterway. As time went by, it was noted that a more permanent bridge would need to be constructed, and in 1949, it was dedicated as what you see now as a swing bridge across the intercoastal waterway. At that time, it was the Roy Roberts Bridge. And in 1983, it was dedicated to A. Max Brewer. The swing span here has some more historical uh, significance to it. This bridge right now is one of two swing spans left in the United States and the last longest swing span in the United States currently in operation. That's fantastic. Now there's a lot of other things going on in terms of preserving history associated with the construction. Can you share some of those things? As Longtime residents with Titusville, uh, you know, the Amax Burr swing span is an icon to the area, and we want to leave it a little bit left uh, for, for the future, for our future generations to see something of this marvel because a swing span is very significant and intricate in design. We're actually in the Sandpoint Park adjacent to the bridge, is we will be removing the main gear that drives the movable portion of the swing span right now. We'll be moving that gear to a memorial area over there, which will also have photos and static displays set up for future uh, people to look at. Another component of the project is pedestrian and cyclist access to the bridge. That's gonna still be maintained, in fact, enhanced, is it not? Absolutely, the new bridge construction, which we're very excited to have, is as two five-foot sidewalks or pedestrian ways on each side of the bridge, as well as two eight-foot lanes that will be used for bicycle traffic to get onto the other side of the water. And is there also going to be some type of an observation area on the bridge as well? At the top of the bridge on the south side, there'll be an area for vehicles to pull over and observe future launches from the Space Center, as well as observing the Indian River Lagoon, yes. And the other connectivity here is the new Titusville Veterans Memorial Fishing Pier directly next door, which creates a, a great enhancement for the downtown. And we appreciate all that you're doing for us. Well, thank you very much, and we appreciate doing it. And thank you for sharing with us today. Thank you. As we conclude our discussion about the Amax Brewer Causeway Bridge, it's important to recognize some of the activities going on here in the downtown area that's going to accommodate so many consumers in North Brevard. For example, the new bridge will accommodate marine traffic for a fixed span roadway so that they won't have to wait for the opening of a drawbridge in the future, be able to handle a 65 foot tall uh, vessel. It's also going to provide connectivity to the downtown with the US-1 construction that's underway that will be completed in December of 2010 that will provide for streetscaping and landscaping and, and resurfacing of the US-1 corridor. And it's also going to provide connectivity to the St. John's River Loop Trail that's planned in the coming decade that will provide a 265 mile loop trail in the St. John's Brevard Flagler area. So we're very excited about the uh, future of our downtown and we hope the community will be able to enjoy this this new bridge and this activity for many decades to come.